good evening fellow toastmasters and guests and a very special good evening to toastmaster sukhmani who is going to deliver her project 3 level 2 speech of the pathways innovative planning the purpose of her speech is to clearly define how toastmasters envisions mentoring and to share some aspects of her previous experience as a protege which means a mentor or a guide timer please note that the time is 5 to 7 minutes all the best toastmaster sukhmani mentor and twenty mentor and mentee toastmasters sukhmani toastmasters members have a long history of supporting and nurturing each other through mentorship a mentor offers encouragement and guidance to the fellow member of toastmasters while he or she works to accomplish a mentor has the opportunity to share experience wisdom and knowledge while a mentee gains a foundation for building skills and meeting goals mentoring can be a rewarding experience for both the mentor and the protege and today i want to share my experience as a mentor my first mentor here at toastmasters was toastmaster madhusudan and i could not have asked for a better guide than him i remember my first interaction with him where we discussed personal objectives for joining the club and my personal goals and let me tell you at that time it felt like an interview i thought i had joined a public speaking club but this felt like an interview but looking back i realize how important that exercise was for the both of us actually when i verbalized my objectives and motivations it made them more concrete in my head and my mentor got familiar with them he was able to guide me in a specific way we did a lot of fun exercises in our house and although that house no longer exists rest in peace indigo house but i was able to gel along with him and all my housemates in a very fun way and that brings me back to an incident i want to share with you that happened on the day of my ice breaker and i do not like to talk about this because this is about positive and this is about confidence but the day i had my ice breaker i was feeling really good about my content till a day before i was just really confident that i was like i have my content nailed down i know english i am fluent in it i am going to nail this but an hour before the meeting started i had an anxiety attack and i started panicking everything that i had written and prepared i wanted to literally tear it off and throw it in the dustbin and i was lit- about to call uh, the vp at that time that test host master hriday to just back off and i was like i'm not going to do this i just wanted to hide in a corner and not say a word but fortunately i got a call from uh, toastmaster madhusudan to just wish me luck and i told him i want to back off he was taken so aback because he had read my speech he had or we had already gone over the delivery aspect and i don't know how but he was able to calm me down and told me that backing off is not an option and that i had to do it and made me believe that i was capable of talking about myself which is just what i'm doing right now it's just a speech is what i was told and he made me believe that this is a very small step and there were going to be much harder tasks in the future that i was i will have to do and that my fear cannot come in the way of my growth and i'm still to this day so thankful for that lesson one that i will always keep in my mind after he left tmnd i was very apprehensive about having a new mentor because i'm really incapable of just connecting with most people around me but my new mentor came in the form of toastmaster anmol arora and again i'm really blessed to have someone who was so ready to invest himself in my personal growth but i saw that toastmaster anmol had a very different approach to mentoring when we first interacted we did not discuss my goals we did not discuss why i joined toastmasters we what we actually bonded was being former fat kids and our love for memes and that was something new so now that i am in orange house we have we, i have some old housemates with me and some new and toastmaster and mol has always always encouraged us to do our roles in the most innovative way possible he is someone who i have always looked up to not because of what he says but because of how he carries himself in tmnd he has always given constructive criticism for the speeches that i have written for the speeches i have given beat in terms of content 
delivery, anything. And he's always coming up with new ways to make our weekly house meetings as fun as possible while never never compromising on what the what learning we take from it and each week i'm able to find new methods of approaching people topics situations and learning these ways of thinking creates a opportunity for more self awareness and insight into the way others do things and i could not have asked for a better second mentor so thank you toastmaster and mool for trying to do the best for us with that i would also like to extend a very very special mention to toastmaster yash who is our current vp at i worked as his associate for 6 months and i was able to learn a lot about how a club functions behind the scenes and he all he taught me so much and made me capable enough to step in his shoes and he is always up for helping me and sharing responsibility so in all in all toastmasters has given me the opportunity to connect with a lot of positive minded young individuals who are keen on taking initiative i would like to thank everyone sitting here who has helped me directly or indirectly be it in my personal growth or my journey here at tmnd and i'm fortunate enough to come across people who i can look forward to in life who i can look up to and who will always be able to give me lessons that i can take forward in life i do recognize the significance of mentorship and i hope that i too someday dedicate myself to helping individuals like